Montpellier is located in the city of Saint-Pierre, on the island of Martinique, France, in the Caribbean. It is located on the Caribbean plate in the Lesser Antilles volcanic arc. Even though the disaster happened in 1902, the volcano actually started to erupt in 1885, which shows that the volcano did not start to wake up suddenly and unexpectedly. The disaster happened on the 8th of May 1902, even though alarming facts occurred uh, the week before the event. An explosion occurred on, in one crater, followed by a pyroclastic surge that flowed from the mount to the village of Saint-Pierre, at 250 miles per hour, killing the 30,000 inhabitants of Saint-Pierre in only a few minutes, dying from the burning toxic cloud. During this disaster, 30,000 people died, most, most of them due to the pyroclastic surge. The eruption also ravaged the vegetation and most of the fauna in the area affected by the successive clouds. The disappearance of the muskrat from Martinique is attributed to it. As a consequence of this disaster, Saint-Pierre being destroyed, it was no longer the biggest city on the island. The effects of the disaster were mostly local, as just one city of Martinique was touched by the explosion. But as a consequence of the disaster, it pushed on geologists to better understand volcanoes and helped the development of scientific volcanology. Mount Pelé's explosion involved not only the geosphere, but the whole biosphere of the city, as most of it was destroyed after the explosion. Mount Pelé is a volcano with a mountain peak at 1397 meters or 1527 yards. The explosion was due to the conservation and sudden expansion of part of the magmatic gases contained in inside the dome and at the top of the supply pipe. The Mount, Pol the Mount Pole disaster is the third most deadliest disaster due to a volcano eruption of all time. However, three survivors are known. Avriva Daerfil, a little girl who managed to escape on her brother's boat. Léon Comper, who lived in a building with thick walls and Louis-Auguste Siparis, who you can see in the photograph after the event. He was protected from the cloud by sick wolves too. Despite his body being burnt, he survived and became known in France as the man who survived Domesday. Totally destroyed after the, the disaster, the city of Saint-Pierre started to be rebuilt in the 20s. Nowadays, it is completely rebuilt and the home 